Buongiorno, and today I'm in a Piedmont city that dates back more than 2,000 years. And the name of this city comes from the Celtic word for hill because it's full of hills. And that word is Ast. And the word Ast, of course, the city of Asti comes from. When you read the history of Asti, you kind of wonder when the next battle is going to kick off because it has a long history of battles and wars and being overthrown and being handed back again and being given as a gift. Even Napoleon came here. And there's a very good reason for that because when you look at Asti on the map, you realize it's in a very good geographical location. And this makes it an excellent place to live. I'm not giving this information to the next height deficient dictator that might want to overthrow Italy again. But if you want a holiday home or to even live here, it doesn't really get much better than this. We have Alessandria to the east, and from Alessandria you've got Milan north and south to the coast, and to the west we've got France and the Alps, Torino, and this area is really famous for wine, for the fantastic foods, for wonderful festivals such as it has a palio, the horse race, it has cheese festivals, truffle festivals, wine festivals, music festivals, it, it overflows with activity all through the year. And we actually live about 35 minutes from the city and we're here all the time. It's a friendly place, you get to know people very quickly and feel very much home in this city. And the reason I want to bring you here today is I have a very nice property about 15 minutes from the city centre. And for many years it's been used as a and b and a weekend restaurant. And the owners have retired, they've stopped the activity now and they want to sell the property. Now you might say, well, I'll switch off now because I don't want to run a B&B, but just wait a second. If you want a nice country home in a nice calm location, this might be just perfect because it's very easy to turn it back into a private home. It has land around it, but let me say no more, but I'm going to show you a little bit more of Asti and then we'll take a ride out to the house and I'll give you a tour of the property. Okay, so here we are at the house. We've arrived and it's the most beautiful day and this is the beginning of February. Can you believe it? Beautiful blue sky, sunshine, and it's a beautiful setting. Now the house is located down this dead end road. So no passing traffic, no noise, absolutely tranquil, but you're only about 15 minutes from Asti. Good distance to Torino. I'll, I'll put the distances here and to Alba as well. And this is the house, seven bedrooms, six bathrooms. The house seems to be in excellent condition. We would always advise that anybody gets it checked, but it all looks excellent. You've got this big parking area here to my left. Pretty sure that garages could be built here if you needed garages, because there isn't a garage. Uh, the house is divided into two parts. You've got this main section here, which has three rental rooms with bathrooms. And then on this side, you have the private area. And we'll have a look in there as well and give you all the details of what's in there as well. Land all around. 
and it's really fertile soil here so the owner grows all sorts of fruits and vegetables and there's all kinds of trees here so if gardening is your thing and you want to live off the land it really doesn't get much better than this and location fantastic i hope i've explained that in the section that we talked about in asti so Without any further ado, let's have a look in the property, have a look around, and I'll give you a commentary as we go around so you can understand the layout of the house. So first we're going to enter into, let's call it the business side of the property, and this is the reception entranceway. And from here you have access to the uh, dining area and of course upstairs to the first floor with the rental apartments and to the rear are the kitchens and the food preparation area. Here is the reception from a slightly different angle. And then we can move into this, uh, it's a beautiful dining room actually, you can notice some of the features straight away like the open fireplace, the, the beautiful brick vaulted ceilings and everything is in really nice conditions. Someone might choose to make some changes, for example I don't think the lights fit so well and maybe some color changes, but, but other than these things, it's really, really decent. I mean, look at that ceiling. It's, that's been really carefully restored. And then through here, we have uh, the entranceway, another entranceway, maybe for guests straight to the restaurant and the cloakroom. And this leads into the, the dining room. And if we go to the end of the dining room, we see a doorway at the end there, and this leads us to the kitchen and food preparation area. And here we go, food preparation area. Uh, they, they do have a speciality of, of hazelnut oil. So the hazelnuts are stamped here. Hazelnuts are big in this area. There's plenty of space to grow them here as well. And then the industrial kitchen. And all of this is included in the price of the property. You can see as you'd expect that everything is in good condition. And uh, you know, it's been run as a proper business. Here another food section area and then the public uh, WCs. And then if we go upstairs from the, the reception area, we can arrive to the four rental apartments. And I just said three, but actually there are four. And again, everything is, uh, is nicely presented. Uh, you might find that you would need some personal changes, maybe, depends on your tastes, but everything is in good condition and the business is ready to go immediately. So let's start at this one. I believe this is room number three. And you can see it's a double bed. It has a kitchen, has its own cooker. And this is to the rear of the house. And notice as well the, the, uh, the real wood ceilings. Even has a fridge freezer. And there's a washing machine in the bathroom, which is a really nice touch. If you've got guests coming, staying for a week or longer, then it's something really useful. And there's a shower unit in each of the rooms. Move back down the corridor again, and then we come to room number two. And here again, we have a, this is it's a wood burning, actually a, a pallet stove heater, a fitted kitchen with washing machine, cooker. Again, the solid wood ceilings. And then into the bedroom, that, that ceiling continues, the wood, very nice. To the left door is the bathroom, and this other door, the one that's closed, is the one we just came in. But um, a small bathroom, but, but completely functional. Now this is the room at the other end, toward the, uh, the front of the house. And it's a beautiful room, this has a higher ceiling. And here's a photograph, because I didn't get a good video shot of this angle. But you can see there's the bathroom there, and this one is unique because it has a terrace. And remember, I shot this in early February, so it's the worst time of year, you could say, and so it can only get better from this. It's a really beautiful place, surrounded by trees and, and greenery, harvests like uh, hazelnuts and uh, vineyards. And this is room number four. Let's call it the blue room. And again, the wood ceilings, double bed, and a bathroom. Again, in all very nice condition, all ready to go. There's no work needs to be done, only maybe personal choices. Now, this is the entrance to, let's call it the, the 
private side of the property, but it's not completely private. You've got to the right of the stairway as you walk in, you've got this living room. And again, there are curved uh, vaulted ceilings here with, with wood panels. That tells you that the, the ceiling's probably more than 100 years old originally. But to the left of that stairway is another dining hall. And so maybe for special functions such as weddings or, or other events, this could be useful. But again, all presented very nicely, all in, in super condition. No flaky paintwork or broken bits of furniture. It's all, all very nice. We can then go up the stairs and lead to this long hallway. And here we'll, we'll go to the end first and this is the, the bathroom on this floor. This room is currently used as an office but of course could be used as a bedroom. This is the one on the furthest left of the property looking at the property. The bathroom and it has the usual things, a shower, sink, toilet bidet. Back down the hallway toward the stairs, there's our stairway there, but just to the right of this is another room which is currently used as a laundry and a bit of a storeroom. And then at the very end is this big bedroom. So you've got technically three bedrooms on this floor and one bathroom. And then this leads to the terrace from this room, but there was a lemon tree in the way, so we couldn't get out there. But you can see the terrace there above the doorway. You can see this is lovely gazebo as well. And it's a very nice place. And here's an aerial view. This was taken in June, middle of June, and it really is a very, very pretty place, a very nice place, very tranquil. Just down the road, there's a bakery, a very good bakery, actually, very nice people. Uh, there's a few neighbors, but you know, there's no, no problems in these areas. People get on really well, and that's the property. So what do you think? That's the property. You could have it as a business or it can easily be put back to being a private home. If you'd like more details, link to my website down below. Thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you already have and click like. That will really help us. So thank you for your time. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.